it's Christina here. So I'm going to be showing you guys my step-by-step -step foundation routine right now. I have nothing on my skin. I only did my eye makeup. My forehead looks huge because I did this hairstyle thinking it would look cute. And it does look cute, but I do not have the face for it because it just shows how big my forehead is. But let's get over that and get right into this tutorial. This is the Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics. It's silicone-free, and I think this is absolutely perfect, especially if you have dry skin. I, my acne medicine just sucks the life out of my skin, so today I had to moisturize and then use this primer and it just makes my skin so smooth, so soft, like it's just, it's just beyond amazing. You know, when your skin is um, lacking nutrients and stuff, you really want to just boost it up and this is the perfect product. So definitely, definitely, definitely pick this up if you have uh, dry skin. This is also good if you want a slight dewy finish for your foundation. The next product I like to use here is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I just got this. Primer water, I like to just spray over that um, base because, I don't know, I feel like it makes my makeup last a lot longer and then I also spray this after I apply all of my foundation and everything. Sometimes before my powder, but um, yeah, usually after my powder, but um, yeah, this is also really good. I also use it to foil my eyeshadows as well because I did run out of my MAC Fix Plus, I believe. I can't find it really right now and it's almost out, so this is a great replacement. And yeah, it's also alcohol free, silicone free, and uh, oil free. So Next onto the actual foundation. This is the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I just picked this up. I love this stuff so much. I am so happy that I found this foundation. It is just, it's beyond amazing. Um, here I'm in, the me in medium 2 Santa Fe. This is probably my absolute palest I've ever been I think in my life like I haven't really gone anywhere I haven't gone tanning and yeah the pump uh, has like the the NARS like you know that um, notorious packaging that the foundation clings to and kind of looks dirty but what's absolutely amazing about this foundation is that it comes with a pump which so the NARS sheer glow did not come with a pump actually where is my NARS sheer glow I absolutely love the NARS sheer glow but that's not my shade right now and this foundation is just amazing 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 um, I do get oily throughout the day, but this foundation really, really helps it um, to all just stay on my face, especially with my primers, the way I apply it. It just makes my skin look so healthy, and once again, it is an all-day luminous weightless foundation. I do not feel it on my skin. I barely need to touch it up, because usually, um, I sm like, when I smile a lot, or like whatever, like you can see like wrinkles I get, whatever, and then like smile lines, well, that is actually reduced when I do use this, and I love it for that reason. Next thing I use is the concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I love this for underneath my eyes, um, highlighting usually, and maybe sometimes on like my acne, but usually this um, gets rid of that. This is, I think this is a medium full coverage. I think some people would, I think some people said it was like light to medium maybe or something like that. I'm not too sure, but yeah, so I really love this stuff. But I also like the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Creamy Beige. Uh, I used to use this, actually, but, like, I mean, like, I don't know. I like my NARS one. It's, like, they're both, like, this one's a lot cheaper, but I just like this one sort of more, if you know what I mean. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. Um, the next product that I like to use for my face is this MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is in the shade NC40. I've had this for so long, and I just like it to set my foundation because it does add a little bit more coverage. Um, and then, yeah, so... You'll see me use that. Then the last product I like to use is in my Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the banana shade. Or sometimes I'll use this more peachy undertone, depending on like how bright I want my under eyes to be. Sometimes I mix the two because don't don't even ask me why. Any professional makeup artist will probably be like, what is she doing? She's an idiot. Use one or the other. Like, what the well, well, I don't do that, okay? But yeah, I absolutely love this contour kit, not only for the highlighting shades or the um the brighter shades, but also for the bronzing, contouring, and highlight shade. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below, and I would love to get to them as soon as possible. I love you guys so much, and I am speaking really fast, so let's just get into the tutorial. <laughs> Nothing in this world could ever bring them down Yeah, they're invincible And she's just in the background And she says I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to fit in I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids Thank you. 
fixed, but they haven't got a clue. Yeah, they're living a good life, can see what he is going through. They're driving fast cars, but they don't know where they're going. In the fast lane, living life without knowing. And he says, I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to fit in I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids And they say, I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to fit in I wish that I could be like So I hope you guys enjoyed this video Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought And definitely give this video a big old thumbs up if you guys liked it And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already Love you guys so much and have a great day Mwah.